everyone, it's Peace Love Craftiness, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this penguin out of Palmer clay. For those who don't know, Palmer clay is an oven baked clay that you can buy at most craft stores, and they usually come in like little packages like this. Um, I usually get mine from Michaels, just if you were wondering. Okay, so the colors that you're going to need for your penguin are a type of blue, and you're going to want a lot of this um, because it's going to be like the body and base of your penguin. Um, you're going to need black for the hat, white for the belly, and then just a smidgen of orange. You don't actually even need that much, like that much, because <laughs> it's going to be for the beak. And the beak, as you can see, is really tiny. And while um, these are, uh, you're attaching this to this. Okay, so to start out, you're going to grab a little bit of your blue and roll it out into a ball. And um, this is going to be like a medium sized ball. So it will be the head of your penguin. And I think I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see better. So once you have that rolled out, you can just set that aside and grab your blue again. Next you're going to grab another portion of your blue. And this time it's going to be bigger than your other ball. And roll it into a ball. Like this. And attach your smaller ball to the larger ball like that. And while you're attaching them together you can start to flatten the bigger one out so that it forms like a um, flatter bottom so that it can stand up and that's going to be the base of your penguin. So next you can set that aside and take out your white clay and roll it into a ball and if yours is too big, you can actually cut it down um, smaller um, because you don't need a lot because you're going to flatten it out. So roll that into a ball and then flatten it. And then with that flattened piece of white, you can grab your um, penguin body again and stick it on the front of the penguin. Okay, and once you have the right size for your white, you can start to flatten it down on your penguin. And this is going to, um, the white is actually going to bulge out a lot because it's going to look like he has like a fat belly. So it's okay if it sticks out. Whoa, my head fell off. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a big belly penguin. Okay, so now we can set that aside again and pull out your black clay and take a small portion of it and roll it into a ball and you don't want it too big and then you're gonna flatten it like you did with the white clay so it's like this and then you're gonna flatten that onto the head of the penguin and that's going to be the um, base for your top hat okay and I made mine a little smaller now because you can see that you don't want it like over the head you just want it like a little bit hanging off of the head like that and next you can set that aside again and pull out your black clay again and uh, tear a portion of that off and then you're going to roll it into a ball and this is going to be like the same size about the same size as your other black clay ball and then with this you're going to flatten two sides of it so it's like this it looks kinda like a flattened out cylinder and then you can start to roll that out the sides so that it forms like that shape there you can see that and with this one I actually did a um, squarish top so if you want you can um, form your black ball of clay into a square or you can do it um, into like a cylinder or whatever and then stick it on the top of your penguin head. and I made mine a little too big so I'm going to fix that right now okay so now that is done okay I think that looks a little better so now you can um, put that aside again and pull out your black clay once more and 
um, you're going to grab like two small portions of that and roll them into balls and then flatten them out and this you're going to make into the bow part you can either um, do this and then like pinch one side of it to make it like a teardrop shape or you can just flatten out um, some black clay and then use a cutting tool to just um, form the the edges a little better but I'm just going to do this for now okay so once you've made your two teardrop or triangle shapes you can grab your penguin again and stick them on the top of the belly of the white part like this and do the same with the other one so it forms like that and then grab a itty bitty piece of your black clay roll it into a ball and stick it in the middle of those two so it makes a bow why his head fell off again so oh, it keeps falling up. oh my gosh okay so now you can set that aside and pull out your blue clay again and take like two small portions of that or make them into even portions and roll them into balls Okay, so once you have your two ball balls rolled out, um, you can start to roll one of like the sides of the balls into a snake, and it forms like a teardrop shape. And then once you have that teardrop shape, flatten it out like this, and then press that onto the side of the penguin like that. And then, like I did with this one, you can just kind of um, pull one of the sides of the teardrop out a little bit to make it look like he's like waddling and like flapping his wings or something. I'm going to do the same thing for both sides. So, yeah. Okay, so once you have that part done, you can set that aside and pull out your black clay again. And you're going to just use like two small parts for the eyes. You can either do this or you can paint it on, but just take two small um, parts of clay and roll them into two tiny balls, like that. And then press them onto um, the top part of your penguin, like this. And lastly, to finish your penguin off, you can grab your... Um, really little ball of um, orange clay and start to roll it um, like you did with a teardrop shape with the arms and press it onto the front of the penguin like this. Alright so now that you're done with your penguin you can choose to put an eye pin in it if you want um, to make it a charm and a jump ring um, and if you do that I would recommend using like a pliers to just twist the bottom of the eye pin so that it doesn't fall out and then stick it on the top and bake it for however long your um, package thing um, says it to and then your penguin's done. Alright so thank you for watching. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe and request for more tutorials. I'll see you guys later. Bye. My gosh look at what my cat did to me. There's the little rascal. Say bye bye.